Hello everybody and welcome back to some mega modded Gungeon. We are jumping in again. I was going to play as not a bot's new character. I think they're called The Lost, but I don't see them. Even though the mod's loaded, I will get to that in the next episode. I am sure not a bot will be sure to watch this video and annoyingly have to begrudgingly message me again and say, what did you do wrong this time, you damn knucklehead? Because I always do something wrong. It's always my fault and I'm not joking. It is always my fault. I am being completely sincere. Anyways, we're gonna come in. I, I just thought, you know what? Lamey. Lamey's one of those characters, because of hip holsters to start and the extra fire rate, she's pretty overpowered, but she's genuinely really fun. Hip holster is a pretty interesting enabler. Oh god, I almost walked directly into that shot. That shot was going slow. Uh, I'm just gonna pop this open now and get the D chest. Hell yes. We can now reroll chests, which is pretty awesome. And our other chest should be our first floor guaranteed bullet modifier chest. I do realize, by the way, that by now I probably should disable the uh, debug version that always spawns one on the first floor. But also, no, because <laughs> I really like bullet modifiers. And the fact that it can include bullet modifiers from Sophia's mod and eventually from other mods too makes me want to see them more often. Though. Even though it's a bit cheesy to see one on the first floor every single time. Why is it so unsettling that this guy doesn't have a black border around him? I don't know what that is. <laughs> that just, it's just not right. What on earth is this? This is a a revived shrine from the uh, files of the game. This, this sprite does exist within the game's files. I remember seeing it in Never Name's video. Pray to lose HP and we gained a whole lot of stuff. Honestly, oh, we can, we can do it multiple times. Yeah, do you know what? As much as that was not worth it whatsoever for the um, for the health that we paid, I really like that. I think that's a very cool and unique shrine. And I think late game, that could be super useful. Early game when you don't need the ammo, not so much. I didn't really think about that on my second roll. Because my first roll didn't give me any ammo. For some reason on my second roll, I kind of just assumed it wouldn't either. Oh, there's also a glass glonstone here I didn't see. Can I... I don't know if there's any way in which I can grab it, I'll be honest. <laughs> That's a really cool shrine, though. Uh, I imagine that the uh, effect of that was kind of divulged from the reference in terms of in the game files. I reckon it didn't actually say what it did, but I reckon if you understand the reference, which I do not, but if you understand what the reference material is, it's probably obvious what the effect would have been. I don't know if it's never named that adds the mod... Never names mod that adds that shrine in, but I'm going to take a bet and say that it is. Just because... I say this. I was going to say just because it was in his uh, unused shrines video, but at the same time, anyone that mods Gungeon has seen those, and anyone can t get access to them. So it might not be. It just... It seems most likely to be never named. Anyways. This is a pretty good room for us here. This is um, a full-on challenge room. It's one of the... Uh, one of the ones from Expand the Gungeon that I created. It's just, it basically, it's just like a gauntlet of a bunch of different first floor enemies. And at the end, you get rewarded with, um... Ooh, we got... I, I forget we start with a bit of curse, this character. I ought to be careful. I might die. Oh, do you know what? I've goofed up here. I've kind of goofed up. Because what if I end up getting one of the things from Bunny's mod where I can trade my HP away? I kind of want to trade my HP away. Exqueeze me. Trap chest room. That gave me an item. Opening chests give you hearts. It's pretty good. And does that mean as in like it'll drop a heart on the floor or it like heals me? Because it sounds like it's going to drop a heart on the floor, which is pre preferable. So we can use them with Vampire Lady and so on and so forth. And it didn't. <laughs> Anyways, we got hot lead. Hot lead's, of course, pretty decent for us here. We shall keep pushing on. I'm, I'm a little bit out of it with Gungeon in in general, just roguelikes. I've not been playing much Isaac either over the past, like, few days. You may be wondering why that is, considering I play a lot of Isaac, especially. Ooh, we do have a cursed woman. Ooh, baby. We got some good stuff here. Daisy Duke's polymorphine. I can never remember what, the, what it does, but I always think it's something interesting, so I'm going to take it. Uh, an incredibly, incredibly volatile uh, potion capable of transmogrifying enemies on a whim. Incredibly unpredictable results. Nice. 
Uh, we've also got whatever this is here. Sack of pickups. A whole sack of them. So yeah, Daisy Duke's Polymorphine. I imagine it just does... Okay. Didn't do what I thought it was going to do. I thought it was going to reroll all the enemies in the room. It did not do that. It did not do that. I was going to say, I've been a little bit out of sorts. Mainly because I have been... Do you know what? Let's uh, let's try using this a little bit. That was a really bad hit. I'm going to be really upset if I get one of the Sunbunny things now. Um, yeah, I've been playing just an absolute ton of uh, the new Borderlands game, Tiny Tina's Wonderland. I have to say, to anyone that's a Borderlands fan, and to, even to anyone that's not, absolutely fantastic game. Genuinely so good. So good. Got Will Arnett voicing the main bad guy, and then Andy Samberg voicing one of the main NPCs. Pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. I really enjoyed it. Oh, one minute. I got an itch that just won't quit. It just won't quit, I tell you. It just won't quit. Okay. But we didn't get one of Bunny's flaws, which kind of makes me happy because I'd be upset if I did. We also got this. The Executioner's Crossbow. Ooh, hello. We can charge it up to do a bit of that and that. Ooh, oh, God damn it, one minute. I'm really sorry, my nurse is just absolutely betraying my trust right now. Wait, are you kidding me? It's the sack of pickups. Just literally a sack of pickups that drop on the floor. And it drops only hearts. Like, sack of pickups, cool idea. Dropping only hearts. Not okay. I realize it's complete RNG whether you get hearts or not. Still, though. But yeah, my body's just betraying me right now. Like, my my ear needs to pop. I'm, like, sniveling. I am over COVID, though, which is rather nice. Rather nice indeed. But we're just going to continue on in this run and see what's what. I've, I've, I've managed to procure some interesting delicacies here. Oh, what the hell? What the hell's going on with my active item? Look at this. It's like shuffling, like riffle shuffling cards. The fuck? Did this boy... I'm so confused right now. What on earth is going on? Okay, so um, it seems that things from the polymorphine have taken the, uh, a peculiar turn. In that it was an enemy holding two genie bottle things there. Genie lamps. Like, it, that, that's... That's not regular. Ah, uh, yeah, I don't really know what the hell's going on here, but I'm going to keep using it. I'm hoping I can use the D-chest as well a decent amount here. I don't really know how to best use this Executioner's Crossbow. I don't know if there's like a particular trick to its charged fire. I, I can't really tell how much damage it's doing either. I'll be honest, I'm not really sure. <laughs> I'm hoping this guy drops like a crappy chest so he can re-roll it into something good. I've had good luck with the D chest before. He did not drop a chest at all. Uh, secret room's pretty useless, unfortunately. I'm very confused by how the polymorphine works. Why was that guy holding lamps? Was there anything to do with this? What? The square peg? And the tractor beam. I like them both. They look very cool. I want all of them. It charges very, very quickly, though, so we can keep figuring it out as we go, I guess. Ooh, synergy chest, potential. And we didn't we did indeed get a synergy. Seems to be a never name synergy as well. The 100 degree knife. Oh, wait, it's another active. What the hell? <laughs> Stop it, game. I have enough actives. So much room for activities. I've got to have my polymorphine out just to pop it immediately whenever it's ready. I'm hoping we get a, a bit more of a usable room clear gun soon as well. Kind of something we're missing. The pistol's actually really, really good, though. Oh, my God. There's no vampire on this floor. 
yet the game's like, here's all the hearts in the world possible. It does just seem to reroll a lot of the enemies into Bulletkin. Very glitched out Bulletkin. That one, like, for example, didn't have a face. Excuse me, sir, it seems you left your face behind. Yeah, this is, um... A peculiar run. I've been liking these peculiar runs, though. We've been having a few of them recently, and they're always enjoyable. Especially when we get to try out some new modded stuff. Trying out new modded stuff is like the cornerstone of this series. So it's always fun when it uh, when it happens. Which is why I kind of want to try out Nautilus' new character. Which I did show off at one point, but when I showed it, I did it in a very broken state. So it stunned everything and seemingly nothing else. I, I'm, I'm assuming for every time I use it, I'm causing more and more chaos elsewhere. That's my only assumption right now. The hell is this? The... What the heck? The Biner Rifle. Shoots ones and zeros despite its name, it isn't actually a rifle. A gun made out of ones and zeros, nobody quite knows what they mean, nobody knows how this gun appeared in the Gungeon and nobody knows how it shoots. Truly a mystery gun. Hmm. Intriguing. It can't reload. I'm noticing that. I'm unable to reload it. I can no longer shoot it. It no longer shoots. Um, it seems that I completely bricked the gun immediately. I don't know what I did, but whatever it was, I done deedly broke it. Oh, there you go, it's firing now. And now it's not. Um, She's got a zero above her head. Don't know what that means. Okay. A little confused. Oh, hello. It's me. Oh, hello, my hatchling herd. How are you this fine day? Okay, I'm gonna uh, retire that weapon for now because I just completely do not understand how it works. I, I guess it, it allows me to shoot and swap, then shoot and swap. Like, it's weird. I, 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 it seems pretty good at bossing, so maybe I'll save it for bosses and try it out. On bosses. By the way, we just got the hatchling herd. If you don't know what this item does, it's very cool. It's part of my custom character. Essentially, it gives us a turtle from the item tur turtle problem. But for every turtle that we keep alive, we get an all stats up. At 5, 10, and 15 uh, turtles, we get special rewards. So as you can see, we've gained a 0 0.15 speed up, a 0 0.03 fire rate, uh, 0 0.3 coolness, 0 0.02 damage, 0 0.05 shot speed, yeah, gives you a gives you a bunch of different stats. It's real good. It's real good. It's, it's it's pretty strong, but at the same time, it kind of relies on your ability to keep your turtles alive, which they do have slightly higher HP than the turtle problem item, but like not so much so that they're invincible. Especially on boss fights, they die fast. But the the idea is sort of you got to try and keep them alive, keep them away from hazards, and especially like room traps. Room traps kill him pretty quick. Uh, but also at the same time, it gets a little easier to keep them alive every single turtle that you get. Because every turtle that you get, you're getting an all stats up. I mean, this is a terrible room for them. I mean, it's a terrible room for me in general. I'm getting hit a lot right now. We already lost one turtle. I hate this room in general. These turrets are such bullshit. Okay, so we've got three turtles now. But they, they retain their health. Ugh. Executioner. Uh, I, I think that's either lose all your HP or get a full heal. So it's like not useful for us. Right, take you out. I should be using my polymorphine every now and again. I've been forgetting about it. Ow. The minute I do not I do not require ammo for any reason. Oh wait, does it does it like match all the enemies up with each other? 
Maybe it does a different thing each time you use it, potentially. But it seemed to match all the enemies there. Like, all of the enemies tend to the same one. Uh, also, the turtles do absolutely redonkulous um, damage. Reroll, baby. Thanks. They do absolutely redonkulous damage to contact. Like, if they, if they get up in the face of an enemy, that enemy is don't to die. That guy should die from poison, hopefully. Yeah, there you go. I want to charge my D-chest again. Try and re-roll that chest that re-rolled from a brown chest into another brown chest. Come on, turtles. Stay back. Use the tables to save my turtles. Save the turtles. I'm trying to keep them back around here, look. They got a bit of delay on you, so it's, it, sometimes it's kind of easy to keep them alive. Sometimes it's real hard. It really depends on the enemies you face. Like right now, we've got a decent position to keep them alive. Does not mean it'll go well, but we have the positioning. Get behind here, guys! Quick, 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 quick! quick. Get behind here, guys! No turtles! No, no, no! I'm focusing way more on keeping my turtles alive right now. Way more. You gotta go, sir. You're gonna kill so many turtles if you get to fire again. No, turtles, come back this way. No, no. The jammed bullets do deal extra damage as well. I'm sorry, my little ones. Get behind the table. No, little ones. You're not taking them all down with you. Cruel bastard. I won't let it happen. Table tech amped cover. Well, for one, I really want this because I need a room clearer. So far, we're getting decent stats from our turtles. Nothing crazy, but decent. I really want to try and get it up to 15 before we go into the boss, but that's seeming quite unlikely. I am taking so much damage right now. I mean, if I die, I die. This is a pretty shit show of a run, so... It is what it is. Come on, buddies. We're getting so many keys. What the hell? Uh, also, we now have enough to go and re-roll this brown chest. Again. Hey, look at that. Not anything amazing, but better than now. With the fire rate, this thing's actually pretty good. And we get two chests as well. Cultist friend. Yes. And we even got the the dynamallet as well. Dynamallet's pretty good, right? If I remember correctly. Having a cultist with us is pretty good. I guess I just use this thing. Actually no, let's just use let's use this. But yeah, our turtles are about to die a horrible, gruesome death. Say goodbye to all of the friends we've made along the way. I'm trying to get them to contact damage him so that they're at least of some use, but they're not all that good at doing that either. But you saw, you see, they did do a good amount of damage. They're just not very good at leading into him. But the actual damage they dealt is pretty, pretty hefty. But you will see a massacre. We are left with but a single turtle. We also got Toxic Fungus, which is probably another earner. Moving? Wait, standing still gives us a poison. Okay, maybe periodically we get a poison aura? When standing still. Okay, it's quite literally useless, but thank you nonetheless. We also need to go back over to here. We got the... 
intriguing. Isn't this from like the the cat game? I can't remember what it's called now. The game with the little little drawn cat. As like the main character. I think it's a roguelike. Like I, I genuinely can't remember. Right. Oh yeah, it, it, it definitely matches them. Look at all that. Dude, cultist. Were you just shooting at my turtles? Do you want to not? This thing's pretty good. It reloads hella slow, but it's pretty good. So that's why we were getting bulletkin so often, because there's just quite often bulletkin in the room. But this thing seems to have upgraded. It's got... It's getting, like, progressively on each reload more and more rockets, I think. Like, look, it's got four rockets now. Maybe it's once you get, like, lower in the maximum ammo, because it started off with just a single rocket, but now we got four. Pretty good. trying to use the rockets mainly. They do use five ammo, but I think they're worth it. Probably not for these enemies, though. Poison aura be with me. Okay. Turtles, get behind this. I've created you some cover. Careful, turtles. The problems are brewing. Stay away from my boys. But yeah, the kind of whole idea behind the turtles and the turtle character was to create a sort of a mini game out of trying to keep your turtles alive. I thought that'd be really funny. And it is. I, I, think, it, I think it ended up turning out pretty well. I tried to re-roll you and you were a mimic. How could you betray me this way? I trusted you. Also, Dynamallet, feeling pretty good. I am hitting myself with it a good amount, but when you have something like this, ooh, we also got Pay to Win. So now we have the ability to reroll and upgrade chests. And also we have just unlimited slots for items here. Oh, wait, no. Wait, no. No. No! Don't steal it! No! He took it! What did I lose? I lost my D-chest! And my polymorphine! Ah, oh, shit! It only just registered with me! I'm so very upset. There goes my hero. Watch him as he goes. Dynamallet. I am losing quite a lot of babies. But Dynamallet is life now. I'm getting up in there. Routinely hurting myself. I have committed to this bit now. Now that I've lost my favorite weaponry, Dynamallet is all I know. I don't care if I'm fighting the Warmonger. Dynamallet is all I know. See, the massacre. The massacre has occurred. I am focusing so hard right now, I don't even know why. I'm like not even that bothered about getting hit. This run's already doomed, but I'm trying so hard. Ah, oh, he spawned it on me. You gotta be kidding me. 
Got to admit, I did pretty well to not get here for that long without blanking. This is like pro warmonger strats right here. That was darn close to a flawless. Hey, and we got us off a portal as well. Bird shot. The hell does bird shot do? 10% damage to flying enemies, but you know what? It's pretty good. 10% is pretty low, but I'll take it. Also, explosive fur, greed, and gunslinger. Gunslinger is always a lot of fun, but explosive bear is something that I do not know. Therefore, I must try. I will be sticking to my dynamallet lifestyle. I don't think we can go to that boss this time around. I feel like I will definitely perish. That, that might be some of the best dodging in Gungeon that I've ever performed. Like, the only reason I got hit is because I was standing a tiny bit too close to an attack when it started. Other than that, I bobbed and weaved every single thing. So, I don't know what Explosive Birth does. Oh, okay, no, now I, no, I do know what it does. So, when we kill an enemy, they let out little herming shots that go around and kill other enemies. This is a lot of fun. Oh wait, is it just whenever I hit... Let, 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 let me just try with like a different gun. Helix shot. Hell yes. Helix shot is lots of fun. I think it's just any shot fired. Okay, no, it's not any shot fired. Oh my lord. We are going down. I will not yield. I've got what I've got to do is I've got to swing and then roll backwards immediately to try and uh, protect myself from the blast, but it's kind of working. It's a bit of a janky strat, but. This is great, this explosive birth thing. Hell yeah, I love this. You see, it almost works. Do you know what? It's working way better than it should. You gotta swing then roll away the moment that you hit, like that. Swing roll. Sounds like I'm saying spring roll, but I'm actually saying spring roll. I will do this until I die. We also got this bad boy. Oh, hello, talk. Needle bullets would be pretty good. Dynamallet, though. I will die via the dynamallet. It's so effective. This strategy is so effective. Oh shit, an enemy spawned like right next to me that I didn't see. Like I'm even managing to get a reasonably large turtle army. There is a, a spectral cat somewhere doing his thing. But I love the fact that Helix Bullets is now affecting my uh, my cultist buddy. Look at this dude! He's got genie lamps. Why? What the hell's that about? This room will almost certainly get me killed. Okay. We did lose a lot of turtles there, but we're good. We are good. Now, do you know what? One HP in a dream. Let's make it happen, Captain. Dynamallet. 
the dragon on one HP. Maybe, oh, okay, it doesn't matter. Maybe the, the little shots only spawn from explosives, because it, it is called Explosive Bear, which works really well with Dynamallet. Oh, Death 69, baby. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. That was an interesting one, <laughs> to say the least, and I'll see you guys in a little bit.